Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight I've got a nice little double feature featuring two of the American artillery pieces. Now the first one everybody knows and everybody loves. It's the M55 Tornado. Probably the single most hated tank in the game. And you guys know how I do. So uh, yeah, so I want to start off by saying I appreciate each and every one of you and that we've hit I believe 263 subscribers so uh, that's amazing I've never thought I would ever get to above more than like five subscribers to be honest but you know it's nice to know that people like what I'm doing that being said I got a brand new mic finally got an actual studio mic not an eBay special just a straight studio mic that I'm going to be using from here on out. It's a USB mic, so there shouldn't be any of that background distortion that you hear in some of my videos. Um, this is a Blue Yeti microphone. Got it on eBay. Yes, I did get it on eBay, but it was not an eBay special. It was brand new in box. It comes in a bundle with a nice little studio stand and everything else. So no more wearing my, uh, my mic around my neck and not using the eBay special mic that cost me like $10 shipped to my house um, that was the issue that we were having with the popping and the cracking so back to tanks now the m55 tornado you can see i'm kind of figuring out where i'm at i'm at a normal spot for me on this north side of this map and uh we are top tier so we need to take down any tier nines we see shot out on the t10 688 damage no problem it's a good good start tracks him right in front of everybody he fixes his track, he gets moving again. We've got IS-6, we've got T-54 Mod 1, which is the Tier 8 medium tank, not the Tier 9. And so I'm going to focus on this Tier 9, and of course our Tier 9 medium tank's getting himself killed because he ran out in front of everybody. And shot out on the T-10, and pop goes the weasel. 612 damage to finish him off. T-54 Mod 1, for some reason, is getting a little bit uh, iffy. He thinks he wants some of this. And then, you know, you see all of the tanks behind him, including the IS-3, which I'm just, I'm drolling right now, I'm not going to lie, and the IS-6 Black. So, shot out on the IS-3. He backs up a little bit, but we do splash him and track him for, you know, 300 damage or so. So, not a huge hit, but it does track him. Maybe allows the enemy, or allows the friendlies. And you can see I'm pinging the map because heavy tanks are driving up the right side towards me and I don't like that now I'm focusing on these guys because those guys will be in a spot that I cannot hit from this position I know that I can't hit them so there's no sense in me even looking shot out on IS-3 we overshoot him by a mile I believe it's at this point where I start realizing that there's an uh, ST-1 yep there he is ST-1 is right there that's a tier 9 heavy tank that's very difficult for people to pin for some reason so I'm going to focus on him. I need to make him know that he is not invincible. Shot out. 639 damages fuel tank and he's tracked in front of everybody. One person gets a shot into him so we get the assisted damage there. And come on, get loaded. He's backing off. He wants no part of this. And I believe he's going down. I'm like, come on, make it happen. Now, light tank or medium tank comes flying around the corner gets rammed because he's goofed and I shoot at the ST1 he backs off so it's unfortunate we don't get the ST1 right there he's gonna stay alive for a little bit longer so IS3 is pushing up I'm pretty sure he's gonna be dead by the time I get reloaded nine seconds come on yep he's dead all right IS6 it is just because you got a fancy black paint job doesn't mean you're invincible. And shot out. 1266. Say it with me, folks. That's a paddling. <laughs> There's just something about that shot that you don't ever see coming. Like, that shot was more or less into the front, you know. You just didn't see it coming, yet it still happened. SU-12244, good little premium Russian tank, tier 8. Great gun on it. it 
Uh, I don't want to take the shot there. We've got a Tiger 2 here. I think I'm going to go ahead and shoot at the Tiger 2. He's backing off. Shot out. And it falls short and hits the mountain. That's not preferable. But it happens. There are five enemies Hanks left. Our team is absolutely steamrolling these guys. I've got five hits. One was for 1,200. That's going to be a decent game. So where are we at? SU-122 is going to sit there a little longer maybe? Nope. He takes off. All right. So I'm aiming ahead. I'm already rotated. I'm aimed in. Is he going to stop for me? Come on. Don't roll off the cliff. Sit right there. Pow! <laughs> 550 damage. Sure, it wasn't a paddling, but to him it felt like one. I guarantee it. And there's the ISU, which is a guaranteed one-shot kill. And then there already is hiding somewhere right back here from what I've seen on the uh, map a moment ago. So where is he at? Come on. Oh, there he is. All right, come on, get loaded. Two, one, shot out. And he kills him right as my shot goes off. And it would have hit him and killed him. But that's the way it goes sometimes. We end up with eight hits, three kills. You can't complain about that in, a t in an arty. So 4,000 damage and three kills. Second on the leaderboard to a Tiger two. But that's not all, folks. Right into the next match, we're on Redshire in the Thunderdome. The T-92, 240mm howitzer. Just a good, fun little tank to play when you need to throw stuff downrange. Now, obviously, I get the good spawn right off the bat. I like spawning on this side when I'm in RD because there's just a lot more room to move around. You don't have to worry about getting spotted and killed as early. Whereas on the other side, there's pretty much only you know two or three spots you can go to early on that you might be able to stay as long as your team doesn't fumble really, really hard this side you can actually stay here the entire match and as long as you're moving after each shot you don't really have to worry too much um, it's such a wide area that even counter battering is difficult because um, there's just there's so much room to look at I mean it's literally three squares on the map that you could be hiding in and I'm the only arty so and I only fire every 30 seconds 34 seconds something like that what is it something like that 34 38 something like that it's a long time in between shells so unless you just happen to look at me when I fire you're not gonna know that I'm there because you're not gonna sit there for 40 seconds and wait you know see if I fire again generally so you'd have to catch me firing and be just really lucky now right off the bat I'm looking at the center hill because that's usually where everybody gets spotted first and right there we go e5 out of position on the center hill skylining themselves shot out Splash him for 809. Not too bad. Nothing crazy, but not too bad. I back off after my first shot to make sure that, you know, if those two artillery engage me, that they will hit the uh, ground instead of me, hopefully. T57 heavies moving up. Now, here's where I start to uh, not really make any mistakes, but you just got to remember that I'm not in the M55. So I don't have 60 degrees of gun traverse. I've only got 10 or 15, something like that. So keep that in mind. I can't can't move as far without rotating and blooming out. So I'm waiting for this E5. I know the T57 down there is lit up, but this E5 needs to go. I'm more worried about the, the E5 on the, the high line getting shots down on people because of that turret. So if I can get him, the T57 won't be too much of an issue. And there he goes. He pulls up, and I place the shot just around him, and we hit him for 984. You'll see my team likes that shot. <laughs> they were they were like, ah, nice. We got artillery hitting. That's nice. Yeah, it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's always fun. Now, right there, I've I've whittled the right side down, so I see a cluster of enemies on the left. I want to try to make these guys miserable as well so I'm gonna concentrate on this left side for a little while just to try to make sure that they're keeping themselves honest now you can see this Jag is doing everything he can to avoid getting shot he's angled up he's side scraping pretty well shot out and we hit him for a thousand thirty yep you know what that feels like Jag that's what you hit everybody else for so just take it and like it and again we get great shots this is one of those teams where they're doing exactly what I need them to do as an arty. As an arty, you don't want teams to steamroll people, 
and you don't want teams that fumble and just get steamrolled by people. What you want is those teams that move to a position and hold it and let the enemies sit there and try to kill them. I'm letting them know i got six seconds left to reload, and I'll take a shot on either the E3 or the Jag. E3's further out, so I take the shot. Watch this Jag back up at the worst time. Wow, 803 plus another 116 or 216 on the E3. So we actually hit them both at the same time. That's the power of the T92, baby. <laughs> Reloading, 21 seconds left. And the team, again, they're not really pushing. They're just kind of sitting there, you know, biding their time. And that is perfect for artillery. Now, you see I hole locked so that I didn't bloom out there. Now, this E5's pushing on our E3. The Jag's pushing up on our E3. I believe they just killed the Jag, so that's good. The E5's pushing, making the E3 uncomfortable. And about this time, I see the other E5 creeping up behind him, the one we hit earlier. So I'm going to put the shot out. And we get him for 407 and keep him off of the E3's back. So E3 now only has the worry about the one tank that's directly in front of him. And if you're in an E3, that's preferable. Because there's very few tanks you got to worry about when they're directly in front of you in an E3. They're not going to hit your bottom plate usually from that close. Of course, they got a dead tank right between them anyway, so he's not hitting his bottom plate, period. The E5's got weak spots that the E3 does not. Now, the... The one thing I would say about the E5 is, yes, if he pulls around, he's dead. Because our guys on the hill will kill him. But if he sits there, he's dead too. Shot out. And we kill him. So there's our second kill of the game. We've got seven hits in a T92 and two kills. That's a pretty good game so far. Now, right off the bat, I realize those guys have been calling for help. I've pretty much knocked the left side back into submission. Now it's time to focus on these guys on the, the left again. That are at their home and I see shots coming in and I know that the tank was right here somewhere and there you see the fence go down so he's moved forward so I know he's somewhere next to that building I can't hit the up oh, there he is Jag is hittable from here I'm assuming he's gonna back up he doesn't actually back up he's tracked shot out if I can get close enough I can splash him and we do hit the building and splash him and then the enemy, or and then a friendly kills him. So E, the 183 and the Lorraine are pushing up on our guys that are on the left side. That Lorraine just cooks the little guy. Come on, let's watch this little tiny tank destroyer, tier eight tank destroyer, take on a Lorraine. Come on, Jag Panther two. Now this Jag Panther isn't fully upgraded. You see, he's still shooting low low rounds. He's probably got the 88 on that. And they finish him off for him. I was going to let him. I could have nuked him, but I didn't want to steal the kill. That that Jack Panther 2 deserved that kill. You know, he stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with that guy. The Lorraine didn't have the rounds. He was an auto-loader, and he'd already ran out of his rounds, so he was loading. Now, I moved to the left to make sure that I've got the gun traverse for when these guys come around the corner. And all I'm worried about is not the LTTB, it's the E3. The Centurion is fighting that guy. The E3 wants to get one into his backside. Shot out. Pop goes the weasel. 558. E3's down. Centurion gets that. He gives me another great shot. And that's the end of the game. Nine hits, three kills. That's not bad. What'd we get? 5,481 damage, three kills, 3,100 XP. That's another Gore's Medal. Second on the leaderboard for whatever reason. But if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button. Leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.